Alright, so now that we've beat the Turrentatech, both of them, and accidentally run through an invisible mine in front of that door, poison mine, let's pull another lever. And what, what the hell? What does that do? I don't even know. It probably makes it so that I don't have to fight the Turrentatech or something stupid like that. And here we have another pillar. Just like that pillar on the other side with the poison blade, now we get a special fire grenade. And... a special cold grenade. Yes, we did need to do this before we went through the central room. And... God, I forgot to start my... my timer again. What's it been like? A minute or so? We'll say it's been a minute. There we go. Sorry about that. Now, let's go down the middle passage and see what the rest of this tomb has in store. An acid pool! Um, let me, um, save first. Just because I know you have to throw one of these at it. Let's try burning away the acid, I think. I think that's what we have to do. Noxious fumes. Oh, shit. Did I die? Wait, what? I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> I think I'll go for a walk. <sighs> oh, dear. Okay, so I guess we have to freeze away the acid pool. That actually makes more logical sense. On a completely different note, oh my god, I have 200 subscribers. I really need to. Th I. I haven't put much thought into. Stupid Invisible Minds. I haven't put much thought into doing special stuff for, uh. for landmark amounts of LP subscribers. I really should, uh. think about that. Like, think about doing a special video for number 200, or maybe. Maybe for, like, every 250 or something, because that's still a nice round number. Anyway, now that we've gotten to the star map... Let us take note of it! Star map in the tomb. And now... We've gotten all four star maps. That's right, it's complete. Which means the game must be almost over, right? Right? We've got, like... This is part 99 here. Next part's gonna be part 100. It's almost done, right? 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 Well, we'll see about that. But first of all, we have to get out of this tomb. So let's talk to these folks. You must locate the ceremonial lights. Oh, yeah. Um... Ceremonial lightsaber, got it. Yeah, that was anticlimactic. At least I can see that mine. It's not, like... Mega hidden, or whatever it is. There must be, like, some rubble that I missed. Ah! Sith statue, Sith lightsaber. What the... Why did the door close? Why are there... Why is it the star map closed and there's, like brightly colored triangle things. That's weird. I think some of these glitches I'm experiencing have something to do with me running this game on Vista. Because I did eventually manage to get it to work on Vista, but I don't quite remember how. And it might be a little glitchier for that. Because I'm... yeah. Anyway. What have we here? So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? Are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten a lightsaber? When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. 
Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. Well, it is true. I didn't... If you watch the last video, I think I displayed quite a bit of passion when I was facing the Tarentatech. Uh, I wouldn't say... Oh, that's too much of a lie. I think I understand. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. You talk too much, old fool. So, you know, do you? Well, it makes no difference. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die. No, it is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Sadly, Euthora, it is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more ambitious than you realize. Isn't that so, young one? You're both mistaken, you scum. I choose me. You are indeed a fool if you think to oppose us both, young one. <laughs> to think that I actually hoped you could be of use to me. This makes no sense. You will never become a Sith if you turn on us both. What could you hope to accomplish? I used you both to complete my mission, obtaining the star map. Betrayed. He is a spy. Do not fret, my dear. All will be as it was quickly enough. You will pay for this, fool. We will destroy you. Actually, frighteningly enough, that's probably true. So let's open with a force wave! Oh, crap, they have that force power, too. Um, oh, um, 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 can we heal? Can I heal? I wanna heal. Um, um, uh, yeah, maybe that wasn't smart. Ugh. I mean, I realize I'm headstrong here, but I, I, I can be smart, too. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, hang on, I'll be back. <laughs> All right. I'm with you, Master Uthar. I choose you. You fool! You have no idea what you've done. The final test continues as it should. Proceed and be rewarded, young one. The only reward you will get is death. Time for you to get a taste of your own treacherous medicine, Yuthura. How does it feel? Isn't it fantastic? I'm sure Master Uthar would have fought the same way. Would have felt the same way, excuse me. Also, Euthura, learn to lightsaber. Learn to lightsaber. That was pathetic. The final test is complete. I must say that it is quite disappointing that you must die now as well, since there's no telling how far your scheming with Euthura went. What? But I passed your test! So you did. And now I shall destroy you as I would any other Sith who betrayed me. So let's get this over with, shall we? I have a new batch of candidates arriving tomorrow. Oh dear. Um... Hang on. Give me a little bit of time to heal, please. And... Shields up! Shields are... Oh, God. Uh, my shield doesn't work against that. <laughs> Let me just keep counteracting this. Is that okay with you, Uther? Can I choke you? Oh, wow. Some Sith Master you are. Good job, Uthar. Well, don't I look sheepish. Yeah, that was... Oh, no, don't, don't fight him first, you... I keep forgetting I have to clear out the queue of whatever the AI thinks I want to do. Oh, fuck. Seriously, Euthura. 
Learn to lightsaber. That was even more pathetic than last time. Huh, and I actually thought to save before the fu I mean, not save. I, I had already saved. But I actually thought to... Um... Get choked. I thought to heal before the... Before getting choked again. Choke on me! Choke uh, you? Okay, you learned to lightsaber at some point. You learned to lightsaber much better than you Thura at some point in your in your Sith training. Yeah, you know how to lightsaber. This may be more difficult than I had first anticipated.